people and welcome back to another video with Raf Gaming. Rumor has it the Mafia 2 is dropping soon. Let's take a look. In a recent teaser trailer from Mafia, they not only announced that they'd be telling us something on Tuesday the 19th, but that the Mafia trilogy would also be coming to Stadia. Each game will be the definitive edition and remastered. The first Mafia will also get a complete remake and the story will be extended. Now, it's believed that the Mafia 2 will be released on Tuesday the 19th due to a Microsoft accident revealing the cover art and release date. So with that said, let's get into it. Mafia 2 is a third person open world action adventure video game, originally released in August 2010. Mafia 2 was developed by 2K Czech and published by 2K Games. If the leaks are accurate, we will see the release on the 19th. The story for Mafia 2 is a gritty drama and chronicles the rise of Vito Scaletta, the son of Sicilian immigrants. As the game progresses, Vito joins the Falcone crime family and becomes a made man, as does his best friend Joe Barbero. The game is set in the 1940s 1950s Empire Bay, a fictional city based on New York City. The story begins with the player character Vito returning home from World War II. Vito had joined the US Army as a way of avoiding jail time for a botched robbery. Vito reunites with his old friend Joe Barbero and the two quickly embark upon a life of crime. The criminal ascension starts with Mike Bruski, a car mechanic who needs a certain type of car to chop parts for and will pay $400 for the one that the police are not taking. Soon enough, Vito, Joe and Henry Tassino find themselves battling with, for, against and around three crime factions, the Falcone, Vicini and Clement families. Missions The main story has 15 chapters and a prologue. This includes a tutorial and the journey Vito takes to becoming a made man. As the versions we are getting will most likely be the definitive editions, which means all the DLC will be included, I feel I should add that these include an extra 66 arcade styled missions, 4 story missions and 21 vehicle theft missions. There are 44 accessible vehicles plus 12 bonus vehicles, making a total of 66 vehicles authentic to the time period in the game. Cars can run out of fuel, suffer body damage, collect dirt, <laughs> and even explode. Vehicles could also be upgraded, modified aesthetically, and repaired. You can also store cars in the garage, so you can use them later in the game. There are three types of weapons in this game, again all authentic to the time period. There are 5 one-handed guns, 9 two-handed guns, and 2 thrown weapons. You have the option to customise the outfit your character wears. You can choose a simple shirt and trousers or a fully tailored three-piece suit. You can either purchase these items or, if you're feeling gangster, walk out the shop without paying a dime. Clothes will automatically be stored in your safe house. Changing clothes also has the ability to lower your wanted status. Speaking of wanted status, if you're going to act like a criminal, <laughs> you'll most likely get noticed by the police, thus making you a wanted man which means you may have to lay low for a little while. This game has many reminiscent features of GTA, from being chased by police, gangs, to having various stores you can buy clothes and weapons from, chop shops and junkyards to sell cars and parts, an open world city where you can roam freely, you can be an upstanding citizen, or you can cause mayhem at your own will, or just follow the storyline. As I finish wrapping up this news, this video right here, some more news has dropped. It looks like Mafia 3 will also be released on the 19th. Now that is actually a surprise, and it does mean that I'm going to have to do another video now. You can buy the whole trilogy only for $99.95 Australian dollars, which translates to around £53.20. Whether we'll see that price is another thing. In this bundle you'll get Mafia 2 and 3 right away, and on August 28th you'll get the original Mafia. Unfortunately, I cannot confirm how much the games are priced individually, but I can't see they'll be that expensive. I've personally only ever played Mafia 3 and I was a fan of the game. I'm hoping the early games in the franchise are just as good. This type of game is definitely one I think Stadia needs. It's definitely one I want to have in my catalogue, but at the moment I have to save those pennies until the end of the month. The question I leave you with today is a very big one. Yes, it may be releasing early, but will it be dropping on Stadia the same day? Now that is the big question. If so, will you be purchasing the whole trilogy, or will you purchase them all individually? 
Thank you guys for watching. Also, make sure to catch the TGS podcast every Saturday with Wingy, the glory of Stadia, Andy, Andy Morse, and myself, Raph Gaming. Catch you later, guys.